All right. I want to tell you guys the greatest love story ever told. All right, are you ready? Now, the surprising thing that you're going to find about this love story is that the love story takes two people to, you know, have. And the first person in this love story is somebody you're really familiar with. It's you. Yeah, it's about you. And you might think, I ought to know about a great love story if it's all about me. Well, I'll tell you the other surprising thing about this love story. The other surprising thing is it's about... G O D. It's about God. Yeah, God's great love for you. Now, a lot of people in this world feel like, I don't feel any love from God. I, I, I think there's some kind of barrier keeping me from feeling that because I just don't feel it. They feel like it's this big barrier right here that keeps them from experiencing God's love the right way. And you'd be right if you thought that because the Bible tells us that there is a barrier and it's called sin. The Bible says all sin and fall short of the glory of God. In other words, we all sin and we all fall short of what God wanted. So people try to overcome this barrier to get into heaven in different ways. But one of the main ways people try is they think that on, in life, they can balance out things. As long as they put more things on this side over here of the scales of life, of their life, as long as they pile this side of good up a lot more than this side with bad over here, that they'll be okay. They'll be good enough to get in. But there's a problem with that idea of how to get into heaven because it doesn't get you through this barrier. Let's look at it this way. Let's say you just want to get from California to Hawaii. Okay, so you want to get from California to Hawaii, so we put you on the coast of California. There you are, a little circle, and we say, okay, you want to go? Just get in the water right here. You can make it. You're good enough. But we know that even though you've probably had swimming lessons and learned how to swim, you are not going to be able to get in the water right there and get to Hawaii because you're not a good enough swimmer. So let's put the best Olympic swimmer ever over here, Michael Phelps or somebody else like that. And uh, let's put them in the water and tell them, you can make it, you're good enough, you can get to Hawaii. It doesn't matter what we say to them, we can't, it doesn't matter what they think, they aren't good enough. Michael Phelps isn't good enough to swim all the way to Hawaii. Everybody that gets in the water right here in California needs something greater than themselves. They need a boat. And if they get in that boat, that can take them to Hawaii. They can get to Hawaii. They could take an airplane too, but they need something greater than themselves. And in the same way, to get from earth to heaven, to get from where we are to be with God forever, we needed something greater than ourselves. And so God made the way. He sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. And he died on the cross. They buried him. He rose from the grave on the third day and he conquered this sin. He he broke the barrier to sin and made the way for us to be with God forever. 1 Peter 3.18 says, Christ died for sin once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body but made alive. That's right, he rose from the grave. He was made alive by the Spirit. You know what? Have you ever repented of your sins? Have you ever realized you're not good enough to get into heaven on your own, no matter how many good things you do? Only one way to heaven, and that's Jesus. He made the way. Confess your sin, repent of your sin today, and give your life to Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust in Him and not in yourself. Let's go over the setup. First, you draw a square, all right? On a paper, on a dry erase board, on a sidewalk with chalk, whatever you're drawing on. It could be a napkin. And then you make a half circle at the bottom of the square that's about a third of the bottom of the square and a cloud that represents heaven at a third of the top of the square. You make your rectangles inside of those two things. It's just two marks in the middle of the rectangle so it divides it into three spaces. So you make your rectangle, two marks. Then you're going to make a backslash. That one's going to become the S. Then you make your first line which is the I, the first part of the N, the second part of the N. You'll connect the top of that second to the last line to the bottom of the last line to make the end. Now make a scale however you choose. 
I just like to tilt it one direction so I can make the good outweigh the bad. Then make a crooked rectangle to be California with kind of a rectangle with a curve in it. And then some dots to make Hawaii. And that gets the setup done and that makes it so you can do this presentation in two to four minutes. It makes it really easy. Let me share the story with you one more time and try to go just a little bit quicker. But remember what you do and you'd follow suit. This love story I'm going to tell you is about somebody special. It's somebody you know. Matter of fact, this love story is about you. And so you might be wondering, why don't I know about this love story? Well, it's because most people don't realize how much God loves them. See, the other person in the story is G-O-D. That's right, God. He really does love you so much. And you might not feel it. There might feel like there's a barrier there keeping you from experiencing God's love. And if you feel that way, you're right. Because the Bible calls that barrier sin. That's right. It's S-I-N. And the wages of sin is death. And the Bible says all sin and fall short of the glory of God. That keeps us away from God. It really does. And most people try to outweigh the bad things in their life by doing more good things. So they try to do more good than bad and get the scales balanced, but that doesn't break through the barrier to get to God. Let's put it this way. Put a baby on the coast of California. Tell that baby, get in the water and swim to Hawaii. That baby's not good enough to get there. L let's put somebody else there. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. There you are. And we say, swim to Hawaii. You know what? You're still not good enough to make it. Well, let's put somebody really good at swimming, though. Michael Phelps. Olympic swimmer, best ever, uh, tell him to swim to Hawaii, guess what? He's still not good enough. He still can't get there. He needs something greater than himself. He needs a boat. And then he can get from California to Hawaii. And the same thing's true with us. To get to God, we needed some, some way to get there, someone to take us there. And that's what Jesus did when he died on the cross for our sins. The Bible says Christ died for sin once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. That's right. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. See, he rose again. He's alive. He can make a difference in your life if you'll just trust him instead of in yourself.